Okay, now on to edges. Now, one thing that you can be assured of is you will always find paired edges on it. I've been solving this for, you know, hundreds and hundreds of solves, and I have not found a cube yet where some edges are already paired. So you can find edges like this, edges like this, or even edges that are flipped, like these two edges, or even like these two edges, it doesn't matter. So, of course, you know, edges like these are easier to spot. So whatever, we'll work with these. And we were gonna position the other three edges on the other three spaces available. So this, this is gonna be pretty similar to what we did on the five by five cube, except we're gonna be putting in one more in the back. And I showed how to do it with just two edges, so I'm not gonna go into detail on how to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pair up the other ones. There's this edge. So if I do these moves, I can pair it up. Now for the second one. There we go. Okay, now this, we didn't get this far in the V cube five. So I've got an edge here and an edge here and an edge there. Now it's time for the last one that will fit in this space. So first locate it either on the top layer or on the bottom. It'll be on one or the other. So here we go. So I'm gonna flip it over like this. You wanna bring up the gap like this, rotate the piece in there, and bring it down. Although if the piece is over here, it doesn't matter. You just bring up the gap on this side and bring it down. But if you can't look ahead, then you have a 50-50 chance that you'll put it in wrong. See, we've got the same color facing us on the same row. So if that happens, just apply the flipping algorithm. If you can see ahead, then you will be able to tell how to put the edge in there, but I'm not going to get into that. So after you apply the flipping algorithm, if you need to, then you will have all the edges on each of the five layers. So all you got to do is just put them all together and just like that and then replace them with random edges and then revert the centers back to normal okay now let's move on to the flipped edges that I talked to you about so it doesn't matter if the flipped edges are touching or not I mean these will be just fine so and this time like I showed in my 5x5 tutorial, you want to have the other pieces, like this one, to be on the same layer as one of these. So you, you either need to have an outer edge down here or an inner edge right there. I've got this one. And remember that to flip an edge, you can just rotate it around like this, and it will bring it over here. So then you can just slice it over there, and that takes the... I push this into the position where the last edge was. Okay, so after you do that, apply the flipping algorithm and revert the centers back to normal. And then you will have three edges grouped and then you can position them in the way exactly the same way as you did with the 5x5 five five cube. You will only need to put them in two more spaces. Now if you have an edge flipped incorrectly like this, either with these inner edges or the outer edges up here, then there's the other inner or outer edge isn't available, so you can't push another piece in here to flip it. So, what, just like I showed you in the 5x5 five five tutorial, you take this piece, push it, separate it from the other ones, over here, and then apply the flipping algorithm. So that will flip the edge, and then when you bring it back in place, it will be correct. And then you can position the other edges with it. Now for an edge like this, where the you've got two grouped together and then you've got this inner edge flipped wrong, then just position the edges like this and line it up with this one. So you've got this edge here, that edge there, and that edge there. And then just push them into where these go, apply the flipping algorithm, and with this case, the edge becomes completely solved after you revert the centers back to normal. So, it's pretty convenient. Alright, you should be able to do the rest of the edges by yourself, except for the last two. But I am going to go ahead and do a walkthrough anyway, just in case there's a case that I haven't showed you guys, and you'll be able to know how to do it. Now, just in, 
just to let you know, what I did right there was my version of the flipping algorithm. It's It involves more moves, but it, you can apply it more quickly. So I will just be doing that throughout the tutorial. Okay, now this is a, an interesting case that I didn't come across, so I just need to act as these these little edges as, you know, one edge. So I'm going to push them out and do the flipping algorithm. There. Okay, now on to the last two uh, edges. Now what you pretty much want to do is always try to push an edge into mismatched edges. So like this edge would need to be pushed into these mismatched edges. Now also, whenever you need to flip an edge, you know flip it over, just, ro uh, just rotate it over here. But in this tutorial, I will just apply the flipping algorithm just because it's easier to see these edges together. So, so with this particular case, I, I can push this edge into these two mismatched ones, that works, or I could apply the flipping algorithm and push this one into there, or that one into there, but this works. So, and revert the centers back to normal. Okay, now this case, I can just push this one into there, or I can push that one into there. It doesn't matter. Oh, 
Okay, and then you just come across a case that you normally do on the 5x5. Five five. Just, this is the parity error, so just make sure to use this layer as R and this layer as L. If you come across this parity error, then you do this layer as R and this layer as L. And you just continue to follow through the algorithm normally. And of course, with this case, these layers would be R and these layers would be L. So basically, for any case that you get with the last two edges, you always want to push a piece into mismatched edges. That's basically the whole strategy. And then, so the more you do that, the more and more they'll be solved. And let's, with this case here, this is just another case on the 5x5 that you should already know how to apply. Now for a case like this, you don't have any edges that you can push into any mismatched edges. So when this happens, just take one of, for, so for a case like this, just take one of these inner edges, push it into the other one, apply the flipping algorithm, revert the centers back to normal, and then you get a case that you can apply, like you can push this edge into these mismatched edges. And also, if you find a case where you have no mismatched edges, you know, like these aren't mismatched, but you just go ahead and push a piece right in there and do the flipping algorithm and revert the centers back to normal, and then you simply have a parity case. And you should know what to do for a case like this, but I'll go ahead and go through it. You Pretty, you just want to take, instead of applying the parity algorithm for both of these, just take either these edges and push it into there, apply the flipping algorithm, and when you bring them back, they will be solved. Or, just to give you another option, you can also push these edges into it and apply the flipping algorithm, and then, yeah, you'll just have a parity error afterwards. Okay, I believe that's all I need to show you for the last two edges of the V-Cube 7. As soon as you get, you know, them all solved, you can solve it just like a normal 3x3. Remember, it's an odd layered cube and you won't have any more parity errors. So, yeah, that's basically it. So, this concludes all of the tutorials that I have made for the puzzle cubes. I will not be making any more for a V-Cube 8, you know, even if they do come out, because they're all just so similar to each other. I mean, after this cube, uh, V-Cube 8 will be no problem, and thereby the V-Cube 9 will be no problem. So, okay. Yeah, that's everything. Hope you learned a lot from these tutorials. Bye.